Hello all. Uh, in continuing with uh, experiments with the XFCE4 desktop and how versatile it is, uh, I noticed that uh, since the XFCE4, uh, the latest uh, update, it's becoming more increasingly uh, GNOME friendly, I guess. Uh, for example, I guess if you install GNOME desktop and, you know, on your system it would help, but I noticed if you type in uh, the weather app, it has a geo IP locator, which my ISP could be in this area or could be somewhere else, but it's pretty neat. It just comes up on the desktop. So I was just thinking, uh, looking at the Budgie desktop in uh, VirtualBox, and I just did a list all, as you can see, there's nothing in here. It's just basic Arch. And uh, I assume you already know how to install Arch Linux in this video. You can use Arch Linux, uh, the architect menu driven installer, which is great, and install XFCE4. So I'm, or whatever, uh, and then you can install the Budgie desktop environment on top of that. But I'm going to do this the, the difficult way as usual uh, through the command line. So I already have an Arch base installed, as you can see here inside VirtualBox. Make sure you have the uh, Arch Linux user repository enabled in uh, your Pac-Man config file, of course, and download a package such as Yaoart, which is what I'm going to use to install this. So first of all, um, I always have an alias for uh, Pac-Man uh, operations, so Pac is sudo pacman dash capital S. Okay, I'm going to install XFCE for the complete desktop. It's not very big to download, so. I'll be back in a second. All right, so keeping with the XFCE um, and Tunar uh, file manager, no Nautilus, thank you, <laughs> is uh, I think you can, uh, I'm not sure if, what's installed by XFCE4 group anymore. Uh, I can't remember everything. Uh, so I'm just doing those Pac-Man, uh, just search for uh, Tunar dash archive, uh, dash plugin. Okay, it's not installed, so it's an extra. And I'm also going to tack on, uh, in keeping with GNOME uh, a file, dash roller, which will have your zip and unzip, I think. We're also going to get, uh, uh, I should have just added that, is a GVFS, GNOME uh, Volume File System Manager. And which it pulls in your U-Disks and stuff, as you can see, as it's downloading. Okay, then we can enable the uh, services, uh, sudo system CTL, enable with a capital N network manager. Just press tab and it'll enable all those. And uh, light DM, and that's enabled. Okay, so the next part is to go through to the Yaoart repository and just uh, just basically search for uh, Budgie. And I'm going to get the first one. I know about the Git version, okay? <laughs> I've been experimenting, but I'm just going to get the first one. So this will pull down a bunch of GNOME dependencies. So edit package, no. Edit install, continue building. And uh, you, as you can see, there's also plugins and mutter and and fodder. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Zenity. Uh, for your menu, no menus and so on. So I'll just uh, let that download. And don't forget, uh, after it downloads, it's going to compile the package, which will take a, a, quite a while, depending on your system. So GNOME Control Center, GNOME Backgrounds, and GNOME Tweak Tool. And that's not too big. Okay, so um, just for the record, let's do an LS USR share and X sessions. And you see there's two entries, XFCE desktop and uh, Budgie desktop. So we'll just uh, issue a reboot and uh, hopefully I've remembered to enable all the proper services. So when you get to the login screen, click up here and make sure it's uh, selected as Budgie desktop. Okay, then just log in as uh, your username and password you made with uh, when you're installing Arch Linux. There we go. We have our network working, and we have our sound, and we have our settings. Uh, it takes a second to load up. There's the GNOME settings, 
and we have a whole bunch of programs. Let's get uh, XDG user, and I'll just type that in XDG dash user dash D I R S. Oops, didn't mean to do that as a search, just and just run that XDG dash user D I R S, and just press tab update. Now let's go back to our where to go. Now we can clean up the menu. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But now we have our basic folders for uh, your uh, file manager. So now we can uh, right click and on the panel here on the desktop and change background. And I'll just select one. I usually use uh, this one. Hit select. And have a nice fade in. Now we can bring up the uh, the budgie panel by right clicking or you go to your menu and it's under system tools budgie desktop settings same thing and under panel uh, in virtual box it doesn't look so great so I just uh, disable the panel so switch that to off I disable the shadow and that looks a little better now to get things like uh, minimize maximize and close button uh, you have to get that uh, deconf editor okay so you go to org uh, I'll zoom in here because uh, the org gnome um, desktop and then scroll down to window manager or WM preferences and where it has button layout here app menu close is you just close you take the they give an example here so just double click that entry oops not triple and then hold down the shift key and control C to copy it then click here once control V to paste that in and you might want to take out the spacer so just backspace that out and then press enter and there we go we have our close minimize maximize on maximize buttons now back to my main desktop here um, I like to use X same same whatever uh, I don't think it's in the default repos anymore uh, in Yowart or Arch Linux so I go to the archive just copy that address and then go back to our uh, virtual box and open uh, XFCE4 terminal make sure you have git installed uh, through Pac-Man uh, uh, so git clone uh, HTTPs. No, just, sorry, I don't even have to do that. Just paste that address in. That's why I copied it. Okay, and we'll just change directory to as x x aim. You see, there's a package build, and and it still works. So mk make sorry pkg dash small s, and it'll download uh, some dependencies and get it ready for you. There we go, and there's. Uh, change that small s to an i to install there you go it's installed so it should be here somewhere if not just uh reboot there it is x same the same and surprisingly this works so if you don't want to see like uh Abahai, blah 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 under internet and uh if you don't have a webcam or the video touch uh, you get the idea so you can go to accessories if you don't want to use the app finder, you can hide that. It doesn't delete it, just and then save changes. And we'll go down to network and hide these entries. You have to do one at a time, unfortunately, but it's still a this is still an awesome utility. And multimedia. Hide that. I think you get the idea. You just choose what you want to hide. And what's also cool is that you can delete the translations inside here so it doesn't look so crazy. Well, green name. See all these? If you don't need these, you can delete the translations. There, it makes it look much simpler. Hide and save changes. Okay, I haven't gotten everything, but I think you get the idea how to use it. So it's cleared up the menu a little bit there. So I just installed GNOME Weather. I'm not sure it'll show up yet. Sometimes it doesn't. Another. No, it doesn't. So either a logout or a restart should fix that and I like this uh, logout dialog locks uh, logout lock suspend restart all in one I think that's uh, a better way personally there it is weather I'll see if the GOIP kicks in or not there we go just give it a bit of time 
And now we have our GNOME weather, but without the other sometimes, depending who you are, of course, and your preference, some of the annoyances of, of GNOME uh, shallow, basically. Okay, so I have installed a, a theme, uh, GTK theme ARC, and it comes within a couple of varieties, so you go to preferences. <coughs> Here it is, ARC Darker. Or arc dark or just arc you can see the different examples so you open uh, your file manager and you know you can select what you want basically and uh, I think you can handle the uh, keyboard shortcuts I think GNOME uh, control center will handle what you have so you go under keyboard and shortcuts I'm not sure if you press the home folder and you want to change that to you open your file manager Alt H is what I usually use, so just change that. Press Alt H, and yeah, sometimes I'm not sure why the uh, why it's not grabbing the window. I don't know if you can do that with a DCOMF editor or anything, but this is obviously through our file manager. And of course, uh, custom shortcuts you can add. Uh, let's give it the name Terminal and XFCE for Dash terminal, and then assign Control Alt T, for example. So Control Alt T and Alt H. There we go. Now we have a graphical front end for uh, the Alsa mixer, and we're going to have to just unmute the channel. And look at this: you can do the speaker test left and right, for example. And we've got that working. Okay, uh, I should mention something uh, I forgot in the beginning. If we're going to use a helper to, for packages like a PAMAC to install or update, to remind you of updates, uh, make sure you get Alex Session. So if I open the terminal, just to make sure, uh, sudo pacman dash capital S Alex Session. It's already installed, so. Make sure you have that installed, and then, I know it's a little tricky, you go to your home folder and go to, uh, oops, sorry, it's not capturing that, uh, USR share applications, so session and startup, okay, uh, auto start, and there'll be an entry already made, just make sure it's ticked, and probably just restart, and then uh, you can use the uh, software um, Mac, and if you want to like the update manager and you want to go to preferences you'll it'll prompt you for the Alex session uh, poll kit and that should cover it so I'll just do the uh, full screen test there we go and uh, let's open a few things files and uh, there is a workspace switcher in the uh, panel here preferences workspace switcher add and he's over here now uh, you can tell it to be in where to go. You can place it in the status area, and now it's here. If you want, it's uh, totally up to you. So you can uh, control alt and arrow key to go back and forth if you want to have that kind of thing. Okay, so that should do it for this one. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.